Hi everybody, I'm Lene Gehrig and welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. Today I have these really fun cutting dies from a collection from Crafter's Companion. They're called, they're called a Create a Card Dies and they have these wonderful card toppers like this. This is a beautiful Valentine and it also uses from Crafter's Companion, the Gemini. This one is called With Love Sentiment on it as well. But the background is made with the Only Love cutting die and it's got these beautiful hearts and they're very intricate and behind that I put red ripple paper, red ripple paper and it's got a lot of sparkle and shine. So I also used, I thought the, the swirls, the grand swirl cutting die made a really beautiful invitation. So on this one I made a, a pretty simple party invitation actually and how I did that was for the background paper I used from the pearlescent cardstock which has all these wonderful pearl pastels and I just chose sort of a beige, let me grab that here. Here we are. Um, I just did 12 inches wide and gosh, six inches. There we go, yes. It's six by 12. And then I scored the center. And then I took my swirl die and I placed it, opened it first. And then I placed that right about here, okay? So that on this left side of my card, that left a nice place to put my ribbon, okay? So then I just ran that through my machine. What's great is because I cut it to six inches wide, it can go through any platform on any die cutting machine, like the Big Shot has a six inch wide platform, but you can also use the Geminis um, from Crafter's Companion. So um, after I did that, it cut away this beautiful and intricate swirl scene. And then I just added with a brush, here we go, from Cosmic Shimmer. This is Luna Paste, and this particular one is called Moonlight, Moonlight Pearl. And how I did that was, I just went ahead and just took a sheet of scrap paper, and then I just brushed some Luna Paste over that, just using a regular paintbrush. You don't have to hit every swirl, just, just to, to give the illusion that everything is covered is nice. Um, you don't want to use too much. Um, and then I also just took a sheet of white cardstock and um, if you cut it to the exact same dimensions then I found that once it's folded it kind of sticks out a little bit so where this was 12 by 6 I cut this one to let me see what did I cut it to this one is 11 and a half and then I think I did five and three quarters so it's a little bit smaller so when you open this up right there so it just sort of is nested and then I just took a piece of white ribbon this is from the white ribbon collection you can get at Paper Wishes and um, just tied that around to strap that in now if you wanted to have this um, a little bit more secure so that it was in a permanent place you could just take your um, Cosmic Shimmer glue and just do a little bit of line right down on that fold and then when you shut that um, and let that dry, it's going to have a nice little permanent place there and, and it wouldn't move around. You won't need the ribbon to keep it in place. Okay, let's take a look at what I did with, this is Country Garden, and this die as well. I should mention that these dies, what's great about them is that they're so intricate, but around the outside edge, um, they are just they're not cut here they don't have an outer cutting edge and that's how you can do you can sort of choose your position you can do something like this and place um, choose your placement on the card um, or you can do something like the first card and then once I did the cutaway from black cardstock then I just did my own outside edge and I just used um, uh, a cutting a uh, <laughs> Anyway, I cut it away. Wow, I'm just drawing a blank. What did I use? Um, okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is gonna get a little messy. We're gonna do an inking technique. I'm gonna grab my craft mat. What would I do without it? And we're gonna use from the Harmony Collection from Spectrum Noir. This is a water reactive dye. This one is Dampson Wine. And then I'm also going to use Lagoon, okay? And I'm going to use my blender brushes. These are the ones that Debbie and I just love so much. 
And we're going to start out by adding a little purple. And I always like to blot first so that I'm not getting these sort of little round circles. In fact, I got a little bit right there, which I'm not too happy about. I didn't blot it enough. There we go. Just make it darker and we'll blend that in. All right. And then I can just also pick up that color here. And I'm just going to be adding this purple color sort of randomly, and then I'm going to fill it in with some Lagoon to create this background. There we go. And now I'm going to do the Lagoon. I'm going to use a different brush so I don't have to clean those in between. Blot, and now I'm going to just rub that in there. Now you can see on my paper that I have, I should mention, cut this to a little larger than the die. So this is four, whoops, there we go. This is four and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then I scored the left edge about a quarter inch from that edge. So what I'm going to do is when I'm done with my coloring, this is going to just sit right there in the middle to the right of the scored line, okay? So if I tuck in that scored line, like that doesn't exist, I'm just gonna center this die right there. Okay, so let's finish this part first though. I wanted to make sure I didn't forget that and leave you hanging. Okay. Now it occurred to me what that word was is that I was looking before what I cut my cardstock with. It was paper cutter. The word was paper cutter. And I know that happens to everybody, but it's particularly embarrassing when you're filming. So, <laughs> okay. So now that I've got my water reactive ink here, I'm gonna take just a mister and it's just got some uh, clear, clean water in it. And instead of just misting it straight on here like this, I'm actually gonna mist my hand, okay? Cause I want like big water drops, just like that. And we're just gonna kind of splatter that on this background. And I'm gonna take some tissue and I'm just going to mop up that excess water. So I've got some really nice splatters going on here. And I can even do that. Okay, there we go. Now what's great too, I can take this damp tissue or paper towel and I can just kind of move that ink around a little bit more. Okay, and if you even want it a little more wet, now you can just miss the whole thing. And that actually just makes all of that ink just pop a little bit more once it's wet. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and center that to the left of this fold, all right? And then what I'm gonna get away, come away with is my finished piece. There we go. So it's got sort of this tie-dye look to it that I think is pretty cool. So I also went back and I wanted to make a card base that was lavender, so I went back to the pearlescent card stock, okay? And on this particular piece, I measured this to nine inches wide by five and three quarters, and then just scored it here on the left. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make this so that it's kind of a wrap around for the card. And I'm gonna glue that scored side on the fold so that this is just left open like that. I think that is so pretty. So let's just put a little bit of our glue right on that board area. All right. Okay, now we get to play with the fun stuff. 
So I've got some great flowers that I can glue on there like this. And I've also got some really pretty sparklets and this is Winter Wishes Sparklets. So I've got all these really pretty flowers here. Whoops, there goes one. And while I'm doing my gluing, what I want to do is, because I don't want to get glue on the card, the lavender cardstock, I'm just going to put my craft mat, just like that, of course, right on top of my sparklets. But this will, and if I just do a little bit of glue and I allow that to dry, then it will not stick to the inside of my card. Okay, and so now I want to put some little sparklets right in the center of these flowers. So this card is going to have all kinds of glitz and glitter on it, which I love. Just covering up each one of those little holes on the flowers. Oops. And you know, you don't have to do all of the flowers. You can just do some of them, which I probably will not take the time to do all of them right now, but I do want to get the general idea here of getting that sparkle there. And this Winter Wishes collection is so pretty because it's got both white and pink rhinestones. All right, so I might do more later off camera. All right, so now I also just cut a little strip of paper like this, did that same inking technique on that, and then I just added some gold tiny words and phrases. These are great because we have these in a collection now, and it has gold and silver and white and black and brown. And the, is it a brown or a bronze? It's kind of a bronzy brown. All right, and I'm going to put that so it's going to come right into... card. I'm kind of doing this at a weird angle. So. Right, and then I'm just going to take my scissors and trim that even with that edge. Okay, so I probably shouldn't take this out quite yet because it's still drying, but I want to see what it looks like as my finished. There we go. So after I show you, I'll go ahead and put it back till it's dry. So anyway, there's my finished card. It's got lots of sparkle on it, and I'm happy with how that turned out. So all three of these cutting dies, I think are just must-have tools to have in my collection. So you've got the Only Love, the Grand Swirls, and the Country Garden. We have a great money saver on these. Just check on the vlog page, there's an underlined link for money saver. And if you're watching this on YouTube, the link to the Money Saver is in the description, as well as a link to paperwishes.com where you can find lots more videos and all kinds of great products for your craft stash too. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.